they come out ready to play. Did some things offensively in the first part of the game, which uh, they had worked on, obviously never shown. After that, I thought our defensive staff did a tremendous job of making adjustments. The second quarter and the second half is making the whole second half, the points that they were able to score basically come off turnovers from the offensive side of the ball. And uh, I thought Charlie and the group did a great job in the second quarter doing that and at halftime making adjustments. Happy with the two young ends that come in, I think were a key spark in the second half, Featherston and Pugh. Give us a lot of length, athleticism, speed. Uh, mm -hmm. They're ready to play. As they had, uh, as I say, after all that, they were the guys that made that key, that got us over the hump because we were down three and finally got that turnover from them that got us ahead by four and then got another stop and got, we took the drive down again on offense, did the things we had to do uh, from that standpoint. thought they played really well. Disappointing thing is, at time, we're not playing nowhere near our best. Encouraging thing is, we haven't played anywhere near our best and have played some really good football teams that I think are, uh, have made uh, significant strides since a year ago and have withstood some storms on the road, neutral sites, at home, and these kids, one thing about them, I never, they never felt when you look in their eyes on the sideline, they were ever out of this game or ever thought anything bad was going to happen. They were very confident in the game and just kept playing. And I'm going to tell you something. You can say that all you want, but there is a, there's a lot to be said for that. A lot of coaching and success comes from judging the personality of the team and getting to know it. It's not just you don't plug it in, do the same things. do the, It's not to, it, 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 Life doesn't work that way. And I think that's a key part of coaching that you got to understand and that we, fat, we spend a lot of time, and I do, identifying, talking, spending time with kids, talking with people around them and how they affect, and then watching them and how they practice and how, how different things they react to, because that's critical because who you ask to do what in certain times. I mean, all those things are critical, and that's why, you know, sports are so different than everything else. Not only are you going to get everybody's best shot coming out, you're going to get everybody's best execution. They're going to add tricks. They're going to do things to you that they have nothing to lose, and they're going to play loose because they have nothing to lose. And you got to understand that when you play that, and you got to be able to match that for 60 minutes. Look forward to a great Wake team. Wake is uh, done an outstanding job on defense. Whole secondary is back, two linebackers are back. Doing a great job schematically, playing excellent defense, scoring on defense almost every game.